Do you want to find out how to move things without actually touching them? Does anybody want to find that out? How we can use the power to move things without actually touching them? Okay, okay. So we're going to have a quick look at the kitchen science lab clip on the screen and then we will um, take it from there. Wow, how cool were they? I reckon we should have a go at one of those ourselves. And I've got a helper here this morning to help me out with this. She's got a little bit more of something than I do. What do you think she's got more of than I do? Yeah, quite a bit more. We're going to see if we can do one of those experiments ourselves. We're going to see if we can use power to move something without actually touching it. Are you ready, Maisie? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So we've got a balloon here. What do you think is going to happen if I rub this on Maisie's head? Static. Oh, I like that. Okay, let's have a go. Are we ready? It's all right. After I've messed her hair up, I've got some really good tips for brushing. I use it every morning. We'll be able to get it nice and clean. Wow, can we see that? I think we we'll need to put the microphone down and have a bit more of a go. Oh, I like that. Hilarious. Well done. Well done. Wow. Your hair is really long. That's awesome. Look at that. Awesome. Thanks, Maisie. Can we give Maisie a round of applause? Awesome. Awesome. Thank you. So what this is showing us is that we've got a power here that we can use. It's not our power. I can't do that. I can't do that. Yeah, it's static electricity. It's something that's available to us to use. And that's a bit like the power that we can get from Jesus through the Holy Spirit that can help us to do things that we can't do by ourselves. And Winnie's going to be talking about that a little bit later with her message. Okay, thanks, Maisie. You can have a seat. Okay, we can also use the Holy Spirit to help us connect with God in worship. So I'm going to pray this morning over us and then we're going to jump into some worship songs. Holy Spirit, thank you so much that we can gather here this morning and worship you together as a church. I pray that you will help us to do that this morning with courage, not worrying about what any, anything else that's going on around us and just open ourselves up to what you are trying to share with us and what you are trying to teach us this morning. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you. 